that boy is Benny. Huh? Hi guys, it's April here and in today's video I'll show you guys how to make that amazing build up effect in the Winch Resolve. The only part is you will have to have for this tutorial is the magic booklet looks. I'll leave a link to them in the description as well as the tutorial on how to download magic book looks absolutely for free. Please consider subscribing and drop more like. But enough talking, let's get right into the tutorial. So the first step to make that amazing build up effect is uh, press on music and find the beat you want the kill to happen on. So for me it's right here, just put a marker right there by pressing M on your keyboard. What you need to do now is mark the shot of impact on your clip. So what the shot of impact is, the first one we see can, can see a little bit of the numbers. So here is the first one we see the numbers as you see guys. So basically press M on your keyboard, that will turn the marker there. We have what you will do now, you will basically just turn on this magnet tool by just pressing on it and slip it in and it should be really easy to just slip it in so these two markers are in a straight line. And what we will do now, we will basically do some quick time mapping and how to do this time mapping is, is press on the clip, press control R and from this point we are going to go 1, 2, 3 to the right and press on this arrow and press add speed point. What we will do now is go 33 frames to the left, so 1, 2, 33, right here, press on the arrow again and press add speed point. What we will do now is go about in the middle, you don't need to be exact but about here, press on the arrow and add speed point. What you will do now is the first part you see right here, make it to 50% and the second part you see right here, make it to 200%. And what you will do now, you will drag this middle speed point until you see that the last speed point in the, in, in the same line as it, these two markers. So it should look something like this. That looks insane, so we will just add a quick slow move by pressing on the star and change speed to 50%. And it will look like this. That looks absolutely crazy in my opinion. So what we will do now, we will basically just close out of the real speed and it should be absolutely turn wrapped and synced. But what we will do now is just drag in an adjustment clip in the effect tabs in the effect, just like this. And what we're gonna do now, you're gonna go the first frame we see the numbers, so right here, zoom in a bit and make so this adjustment clip end step by just dragging the whole adjustment clip to there. And what you will do then is from this point, from the shot print, that we will go 55 frames to the left. So 55. And basically just shorten the adjustment clip down so it starts right here. And basically what you will do now is when you have installed the magic boot looks, you need to go to this Windows button and in this search bar down here you're gonna just search up percentage local app data percentage and only press on this folder open it up and this will pop up. And what you will find inside of here is the look builder. So right here. Then you go to looks and go to custom and then basically just download the preset I left in the description in the Google Drive folder, download that and basically just from your downloads drag it in and drop it inside of here. When you've done that just close out of it, restart the image resolve and it should be. What you will do now is go to FX and search up LX, drag it and drop it on the adjustment clip, go to FX, press edit look. And what you will do is we will take this fire yellow and black. It should appear in your custom folder down here. Press on it and press on the check mark. And it will look like this. In my opinion, it looks really sick. It will probably lag a lot, so just right click on the clip and turn on render cache color of it. And go to playback and turn on render cache to smart. And it will look really cool. And in my opinion, it, this color correction looks really sick, especially in this season when some of the trees are orange, it looks absolutely sick. But back to this tutorial, what you will do now, you will basically go one fourth into the video, so about here somewhere, and press on the adjustment clip. And if you have your cursor over the adjustment clip, you should see two like rectangular fingers in the corners. So take the one to the left and drag it to your cursor. This will basically just make it so it fades in. That looks really cool. So what we'll do now is press on the, the main clip and go to the first frame where the adjustment clip starts and go to the inspector into video tab and keyframe the opacity inside of here to 100 on the first frame. And then you go to the last frame and go one frame to the left, keyframe it on 100 again and go one frame to the right and keyframe it again. And then you're gonna go to the keyframe made in the middle, so one frame to the left, 
and drag it down to 50 and it will slowly just get darker and what you will do now is go down to the description and in a Google Drive for the, where the same Google Drive for as you find the looks preset you should find the overlay, download that bar overlay and basically just drag it and drop it under the hood and it already looks really sick but we're gonna fix it real quick now by adding some black bars that will just make the whole thing look much better how to do the black bars is press on your clip and go to inspect it in the video tab and inside of here you should find something called cropping that's basically the black bars what you will do you will go where this like triangle thingy ends and press on your clip and keyframe the everything by pressing this keyframe up here in the cropping what you will do now is to go about 10 frames to the right so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10 and keyframe everything again and make the top, crop top to 90 and crop bottom to 92 so it should look something like this it looks already sick but as we see if you go after the effect the black bars are still there so we're gonna fix that go to the last one we see the adjustment clip so right here see from everything again then you go one frame to the right so one with the effect you can't see the effect anymore and keep from everything and just drag both of them to zero and it will disappear and that's basically it Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, drop a sub. I'll see you guys in the next video.